Patty Booker is kind enough to join us at the top of the show here on the wrap up. Maddie, thank you so much for taking the time. We appreciate it. Congratulations on uh, all of your success so far through the first weekend. Uh, you guys took care of Drexel relatively easily. You took care of Alabama as well. You played 40 minutes in that Alabama game. Just talk to me what this experience has been like and uh, getting to experience the NCAA tournament for the first time and getting to host games as well. Yeah, uh, it's definitely been a blessing. Um, I mean, just really taking in the moment, um, enjoying every moment of it. Uh, I mean, I watch, you know, players that I model my game after just play in this tournament and to see them strive and just a big blessing that I'm doing so well in basically the first two rounds and that we're still playing. We're still dancing. Maddie, we saw Kevin Durant was at your Alabama game, and you know, he's a fellow number 35, obviously a Texas legend. Did you know he was going to be at that game before he showed up? And what has it been like to see the support that he's given your team and yourself in specific? Um, yeah, uh, I think somebody told me uh, that he was coming. Um, it was another game, you know, with some, just people in the crowd watching, uh, supporting us. Um, it means a lot, you know, um, just, you know, for him to come back and support us as, you know, we're basically like in March Madness. And um, it means a lot also to me, uh, somebody that I actually looked up to, modeled my game after, uh, stole some of his moves, um, you know, just for him being um, basically like in a crowd just watching me play like him. <laughs> Uh, Maddie, you obviously had to learn a, a new position coming into this year, and it's been talked a lot about how the unfortunate injury to Rory Harmon kind of opened up a, a hole in your team, and you filled it. I don't think people understand necessarily how difficult it is to transition from a post position or even a wing position to go and playing point guard and being the quarterback of the team. Can you talk about some of the conversations that you had with your coach and how you were able to just kind of take over and assume that role that is so tough? Yeah, it's the toughest role, honestly. I feel like basically in basketball in general, um, just going from a wing, just, you know, like going from wing and scoring and then going to a point guard and leading the team and scoring and doing other things too. Um, really a conversation I had with my coach was, what do I need to do to be better with my team as a point guard? And he just told me to limit turnovers. And, I mean, since then I've been trying to work on limiting my turnovers. It's been up and downs. So I will have a few – one game I had zero, and some games I had some very bad numbers. But um, I'm just still just trying to learn the ropes. It's still still not easy. It's very hard. Every every game is is a different look. Like you have to see, but it's the most hardest transition. Uh, I gotta ask you quick, Maddie. Was there any player that you watched or um, tried to you know model your game after when you were told, all right, you're gonna be carrying the basketball now a lot more? Like, had you ever played point guard before? Um, I mean, high school here and there, AU here and there, just kind of like doing the ball of the court. But that's not really what I thought point guard was for real. Um, I really, I never had to lead a team just by myself, like call plays on my own. Uh, that was something different. Um, I really didn't kind of bother my game after. I really just kind of stayed true to myself. Um, I mean, because I was a good passer. I knew that. I knew how to, you know, read the floor very well. I just had to learn to do it better at a point guard position. Maddie, we did want to ask you about one of your teammates, Aaliyah Moore. In the Alabama game, you both had 20 points and became the first pair of Texas players to score at least 20 points in an NCAA tournament game since 2004. When she's playing like that and dominating, how does that make your job easier as a point guard? It uh, makes my job a lot easier. Uh, Amo definitely helps me a lot in the backcourt. Um, uh, she just brings a common presence to my game. Uh, just knowing that she's dominating like this, and it's it's been consistent now, like ever since she came back from an ACL injury. Um, it just brings a common sense to my game, a common presence that I bring to the court. Um, she just keeps me poised, and she brings the energy. So when she does that, um, my job is very easy. So you guys got a couple days to rest, but uh, you're looking ahead to this weekend. You got Gonzaga coming up in the Sweet 16 uh, on Friday. What makes the Texas Longhorns different than the other teams uh, in the NCAA tournament? What separates you guys from the rest? I think just the passion on defense we have. Um, we play 
on defense play as a team, we have we have to have each other back. That's going to keep us going. I think that's really what fueled us, you know, just losing Rory. Like, she was our best defender. And so we knew that she kind of covered the grounds for us, like our mistakes on defense. So when she went down, we had we basically came together and said we have to do better on defense. We have to – like, we've got to step up in different roles now. And so ever since then – our whole thing is just team defense, making sure that we have each other backs on defense, and it keeps us going on offense. It's Texas freshman phenom, Maddie Booker. Maddie, thanks so much for joining us on the wrap-up, and best of luck this Friday night. Thank you. Thank you.